that my name is Stella Carter and welcome to my channel Just for you I done do all this just for you Now recently I started going to the gym and that gave me a chance to meet new people and it also gave me a little insight Most of us at some particular point in our life struggle with our weight It's either we feel we're too big or maybe we're too small so we try all these diet plans we get on so many exercise programs and we get advice from people who may or may not know what they're talking about here at just for you we decided to name this monday segment monday fives Weight. As simple as that. Giving you all the facts and myths about weight to help you doom your weight problems away. And but before we get into it, just for you, we've divided this video into two segments. This one is the fact video, and at the end you get a link to the myth video. And hopefully, at the end of these two videos, you have a clearer understanding of how to properly manage your weight. Fact number one, you can change your metabolism. Like, wow, yeah, like, okay, okay. You're probably wondering, why is this important and how does it apply to me? I mean, some of you watching this are probably people who eat a lot, but you don't get fat and that may bother you but some of you are people who eat as little as possible but somehow always get fat I mean the scale just keeps going up and up and up and up and up it's like a Coldplay song up and up. Up and up. so yes you can do something about that you can actually change your metabolism for some of you who don't know what metabolism is Metabolism is basically the chemical reactions that happen in your body. So, say you have a quick metabolism. It means chemical reactions in your body happen much faster. But if you have a slow metabolism, it basically means the opposite. Chemical reactions happen much slower. So, you probably gain weight even though you eat a little. And for those who have a quick one, you won't gain as much weight as, well, you should. Which is very unfair. Very very unfair to me and everyone else yes now if you guys want a video on how you can change your metabolism hit the comment box below just type in i want a video on how i can change my metabolism and i will humbly oblige by making one just for you fact number two apparently you can sleep more to promote your weight loss like what i, I don't think i'm reading it right yeah, I'm really right. You can sleep more to promote your weight loss. Now the frontal lobe in your brain is responsible for making decisions. So when you're sleep deprived, it's like exposing your frontal lobe to a bunch of alcohol and that impairs your ability to actually make decisions. So you tend to eat out of impulse and less out of actual necessity. And the second thing is, our bodies produce a hormone called leptin, which is basically responsible for telling us that, yo, dude, you're full. Like, enough is enough. But when you're sleep deprived, your leptin levels start dropping, and another hormone kicks in called ghrelin, which basically tells your body, yo, uh, you're hungry, you need to eat as much as possible, which typically results in you gaining more weight than you should be gaining. So, sleep enough, and hopefully, you'll be able to make proper decisions when it comes to maintaining your cravings and losing your weight. Fact number three. Personally, I feel a lot of people in our generation get stressed over the simplest of things. Now, there's an article online that talks about how stress was actually a mechanism that our ancestors used to help them cope with things like drought and incoming dangers like a tiger or a bear. Basically, it helped them store more energy. And in this modern day and age, we don't really need that energy. A lot of people are actually struggling with the weight just because they're failing to manage the stress levels. I mean, stress doesn't just make you gain weight. I know a lot of people who lose weight when they're stressed. So get your stress levels in check. Do some exercises. Do whatever. And if you want to see a video on that as well, comment below. Fact number four. I gotta write this time. Your bae's weight actually matters. So yes, apparently your bae's weight or your spouse's weight actually matters. No, this only really applies for people who've been together for at least six months and above. So, why does base weight matter? When two people are together, there's a tendency of habits rubbing off each other. So, say your bae is someone who's 
athletic, who likes exercising, keeps a proper diet. The lifestyle is one filled with so much activity and you are a basic couch potato. There's a very high chance that certain habits will rub off either one of you. So it's either you become more active with yourself or maybe Bay becomes less active and more of a couch potato. So yes, your Bay's weight actually matters. Fact number five, five, five. There is no one size fits all approach to your weight or to anything at that. There are a lot of programs out there that promise in this number of days you shall look like this or if you eat like this you shall feel like this. But to be very honest with you, we're all genetically different. So some of us won't look like the poster girl or the poster guy on whatever product you're buying. You should always try to keep that in mind. We're all genetically different. And something else you should keep in mind. If you're trying your best to keep healthy, if you're trying your best to actually have a proper lifestyle, whatever the results will be, be happy with them because you are fearfully and wonderfully made and that's how God wanted you to be. So yes, not all weight programs or diet plans may produce the results you want, but you should be happy for you were fearfully and wonderfully made.